talking about therapeutic window and uh, therapeutic index. Now these two terms are interrelated to each other and uh, are of importance in clinical pharmacology as far as the dosing of the drugs is concerned. Uh, so to explain this, I, give, I will give you an example of a horse cart, a photograph of a horse cart. Now this kind of horse cart is used uh, basically in South Asia. And what's so unique about the horse cart is the horse itself, <laughs> not the breed or not the height or color of the horse. Uh, but uh, it's about uh, the decoration, uh, especially the use of eyelids, which you can appreciate here on the face of the horse. They are applied onto the sides of the face to cover the eyes. Uh, so if you have a scenario where you just take out these uh, eyelids, two things can happen. One is that the horse may become violent, so it's of no use uh, for commercial purpose. Or on the other side, the horse may just lose interest in the work it is supposed to do. You do not want the horse to be in either states. You want the horse to be working as per the directives of the owner. So you require those kind of lids so that you give the horse a kind of a tunnel vision. A vision which is directed in the front of the horse and not which is something on the sides which can distract the horse from doing its normal work. This kind of a thing has been in practice in South Asia for now thousands of years and it's very good to control the horse by applying lids onto the side of the uh, horse eye. So if that's true in social sense, now we want to control uh, the dosing of a drug so that we don't want the drugs to be uh, having any side effect profile or prove to be toxic for the individuals so very high dosing or you don't want drugs to be ineffective on one side so you want something which is optimal which is something in between these two extremes of ineffectiveness and the toxic side so you want something in between which we call it as a safety zone, a safety margin for the doses of a drug as well as the blood levels which follow the administration of the drugs. So this safety zone is what we call it as a window between the two extremes or the therapeutic window in between the two extremes. Now logically this window can vary in size. It can be bigger in size. So the two lines or the two zones, extreme zones can be just pulled apart. If it is pulled apart and the window is bigger in size, it's good because then you can adjust the dose of a drug and it's very unlikely that dose will, uh, a particular dose will have a toxic effect or adverse drug reactions seen with the drug. So it's very good in clinical practice to have drugs with a wider safety zone, with a wider window phenomena. But on to the other side, if you decrease the window size, there is an issue. The issue comes because now the two sides are just very near to each other, so the safety zone has shrinked. So any kind of a dose or adjustment of a dose can bring about toxic reactions for the individual and you need to be very careful with uh, administrating drugs with a narrow window phenomena. But this window is something which is abstract. Okay, this is an abstract thing. If I want to look at this window for pharmacological action, we have a graph like this. This is a dose response curve graph at various doses for a particular drug. On to the left side what you see is a, a black dose response curve which is achieved at uh, doses which usually give rise to uh, therapeutic effects of the drug. On to the right side is uh, the red line. Uh, 
DRC that is dose response curve which usually is attained or is uh, graphed at doses of a drug which usually give rise to toxic effect. So the area in between these two DRCs is what we call it as a therapeutic window. And I just discussed with you this window can vary in size, it can be bigger, good for clinical practice or it can be narrowed down which is then becomes an issue because those drugs with narrow window and uh, toxic effects may just come up. Suddenly there is very little scope for adjusting the dose of a drug for the individual. Now this window or the area if I want to quantify I require a value. I require a value, a mathematical value to say whether this uh, therapeutic window is bigger in size or is uh, smaller than the standard one. So I want a core value to be in front of my eyes when I want to clinically practice uh, with the various drugs uh, that are being used in therapeutics. So this value is what we call it as a therapeutic index. So it's kind of a ratio, it's kind of a ratio of TD50 to ED50. Now what do you mean by TD50? Toxic dose 50. So it's a central tendency, a median value onto the red DRC. That means 50% of the population under study start showing toxic effects of a drug at a particular dose of that drug. Okay, so it's the toxic effects relates to a particular dose of a drug in 50% of the population under study. So that is TD50. You can appreciate that value onto the graph which is now seen on your screens. That's in the red line. On the other side, you have the ED50. That is the effective dose 50. Okay. So 50% of the population under study start showing up uh, effects of the drug at that point. So it's again a central tendency value, a median value which you can appreciate very well onto the black DRC that is on to the left of the graph which you are seeing now. So therapeutic index is a core mathematical value which is uh, which has a formula of TD50 by ED50. So it's a ratio but it relates to the kind of the window phenomena that we just talked of. So a higher therapeutic index or there can be a lower therapeutic index. The higher the therapeutic index, it will be better. The lower the therapeutic index, it's an issue because you need to be careful in clinical practice about the use of these drugs. Now certain drugs in clinical practice where you see this narrow therapeutic index phenomena. Drugs which are used uh, in mania states, bipolar disorders, drugs like lithium, some other cardiovascular drugs, uh, drugs used in central nervous system diseases also do share same kind of uh, uh, narrow therapeutic index phenomena where you need to be very careful while giving the dose of a drug. Now that was just the theory that okay this is a drug and it has a narrow therapeutic index but then what next? The next thing is we need to monitor the drug levels of these drugs. So that condition is what we call it as therapeutic drug monitoring. Okay. So for drugs with narrow therapeutic index you require at regular intervals to check the blood levels of these drugs. If the blood levels are high, you need to decrease the dose of a drug. If the drug levels are to lower side, you need to increase the dose of a drug. And uh, this is done in clinical practice. And this monitoring is what we call it as therapeutic drug monitoring or in other terms, capital T, D and M. So this is just... Uh, uh, this is a summary on therapeutic drug monitoring. We will have a separate session on therapeutic uh, drug monitoring uh, in the coming days. 
But anyway, so this was in a nutshell about the therapeutic window phenomena, how it relates to therapeutic index, which is the mathematical way of expressing therapeutic window and how it relates to controlling of the horse and how it then coincides with uh, you know, controlling the dose of a drug so that it won't turn to be harmful for the individual. So that was my short analysis for the day. I hope you got the message. Uh, thank you. Do keep watching my videos. Enjoy listening and learning. Uh, bye for now. And do subscribe to my channel. Post your comments. Thank you.